sure in college you get games at different dates, but in a Thursday NFL game, how unique is this challenge been for you? Well, it's definitely unique. I've never played in, uh, you know, just under four days uh, like this. So it's been a fun challenge. You know, you kind of have to uh, cram everything all at once and um, just learn a lot at one time. But that's, you know, part of, uh, you know, the game. You know, a lot of guys have to do that. Um, it's part of the fun of playing on a Thursday night. So uh, we'll be ready to go. We'll have a good plan. And uh, we just got to execute. Sean has said that he's not making a big deal about going back to New Orleans. But you sense or either the locker room that guys understand it. Might be a little emotional for him going back there, given his history. Well, yeah, we understand it, but he hasn't, you know, really made much of it. It's just, uh, you know, another game to us. Um, I know he spent um, a lot of energy and effort for for that organization, and so I know it means a lot to him. But, you know, we want to just treat it like another game and just attack it and compete, you know, um, just like it's another game. But we know it's going to be a great environment. Um, you know, maybe some emotions, but we got to play, um, you know, down to earth and just play one game to, or one play at a time. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but things change, you know, yearly and, and weekly. So um, you never really know what they're planning for until you get to the game. You can just go by film. And, uh, you know, it's um, good that they have been around. At least they know, you know, um, some of the foundation. But, um, you know, they also, you know, probably know us a little bit just because it's similar offense. So, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be, uh, you know, who can, um, you know, execute at a higher level. Mm-hmm. in the fourth quarter trying to come back. I guess each week are you going to take something from being up 20, even down 20? How do you approach that? Yeah, I think it's uh, really important. You know, there's all kinds of experiences, um, new experiences going on, you know, for me. And it's important to treat each and every one of them like, like it's different and, you know, learn as much as I can and grow as much as I can from them. Um, you know, we've been in, you know, literally almost every situation, you know, possible at this point. So, um, we just got to continue to battle and take it one game at a time and uh, keep learning when our opportunities are there and uh, not make the same mistakes over and over. You guys have talked about the slow starts offensively. Is it a sense of urgency or is it maybe we sprinkle a little of tempo in? What do you think in your mind now that you've done it for you know, six games, the key to starting faster offensively? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, I've done it for six games and these coaches have done it for a lot more, so I don't really um, know a whole lot. Um, when it comes to that, you know, we're just going to continue to uh, execute and find ways to execute what's called and go out there and um, start fast. I know it's not a sense of urgency. I know it's not effort. It's not, um, you know, anything like that. Um, I think we just literally have to kind of take one play at a time, make sure we're getting first downs and, um, you know, move the ball at a better rate at the beginning of the game. Well, after rewatching Portland's touchdown that he had, were you shocked that he was able to hang on to that? Is he really just a guy that you throw in his direction and expect him to come down to it? Well, he's, one, you know, he's been doing that for, for a long time. You know, uh, we talked a little bit about where that ranks in his catches. I think it's top three for him. But, um, you know, he's made <laughs> several catches like that over and over. And he continues to do it. And um, it's always impressive watching it. Um, you know, it's not surprising, but every time it happens, it's like, you know, there goes another one. And you just kind of forget how, how uh, easy it is to throw it up to him, and, you know, he catches it. So uh, he's standing right over there. But um, I think it's, uh, you know, great to have a target like that. Um, it's very reliable, very confident, makes it easier on me. Last couple for both. Oh, when you look at the film, do you see plays that against the Raiders or last week that you made in those two games that maybe you wouldn't have made week one or two? I guess, do you see the progress? I do see the progress, but I still see some that I'm, you know, leaving out there. So um, it's a happy medium, a fine line of both. Um, feeling like I am making, you know, strides, but at the same time, there's things I continue to go back and watch, you know, that I know I'm capable of doing. So um, it is good to see the progress and the strides, but also, you know, not where the, um, not where I want to be at yet. So uh, the standard's still very high, and uh, still working to to reach that. Last one on Sunday after the game, you talked about how you guys would have gone to practice if you could have. Is that competitive nature, the love for the game, essential to play at this level? Uh, yeah, I think you have to because, one, you are going to have fast turnarounds and you are going to play on Thursday, and you better get it in gear or you're going to be left behind and you're going to go out there and not be prepared and, you know, have a bad game. So we don't want that, but, um, you know, everybody in this level is, is good. Everybody is, um, you know, good at what they do. They're great players. They're smart. They're 
knowledgeable about the game. So it's tough. You got to raise your level and you got to find something, um, you know, a competitive advantage over other people that, um, you know, whether that's putting in the time or putting in extra or getting here early, staying late, um, you know, competing or making sure your body's in shape, resting. There's so many things that you can find, um, but they're also out there doing the same thing. So it's like who can be, you know, that 1% better. And um, the competitive part is definitely important. And, um, you know, I think it keeps, you know, certain guys around for longer because they're just able to continue to go and go. And that competitive stamina kind of stays with them and the mental toughness. And um, they just kind of got it and they outwork everybody. So that's definitely something that we're trying to do this week. We're trying to be very um, mentally tough. We're trying to be prepared on a short week. Um, and I feel confident that our guys will do it. Thank you.